This is Task Spoon, the series where I aim to complete the collection log by doing one randomly generated task at a time. After completing the medium tier, I'm ready to attempt some of the longest and hardest challenges yet as I move on to the hard tier. Welcome to Season 3 of Task Spoon. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 114 of the Taspoon series. In the last video, I spent over 60 hours doing Slayer at Vanica to try and get some Basilisk tasks to go and kill Basilisk Knights for the 1 in 1000 drop chance at a Basilisk Jaw. And we were unsuccessful. As you can see right here, uh, I did over 1.3 million Slayer experience at Vanica. And I got two Basilisk tasks in that time where we managed to kill 591 Basilisk Knights with no jaw drop. So in this video, I'm going to finish off 95 Slayer, hoping for more Basilisk tasks. But realistically, when we don't get them after I get 95 Slayer, I'm just going to go camp Basilisk Knights for the 1 in 5k drop. Which is going to suck, but it's just what I got to do. And we're just going to go and get started. I think I am on my task streak, so I'm going to go to Konar for the points. And yeah, let's get started. In case you missed the last video, the reason I've been doing Slayer at Vanica, uh, he has a 2% chance to give Basilisk tasks, which is only slightly lower than most of the other Slayer Masters. I think the highest is Duradel at 2.6. Uh, but because the tasks are significantly easier and faster, I can just sort of cycle through them more quickly. Uh, I just use points to skip the long tasks. I'm still doing the good tasks like bursting tasks or anything that I can do quickly, skipping all the rest and hoping for Basilisk tasks. And yeah, that's how I ended up getting 1.3 million Slayer experience at Vanica. I only got two Basilisk tasks in that whole time, and obviously I did not get the jaw yet. But just going to keep going until we hit 95. That was sort of the mini goal from the last video that I never ended up reaching. Because I kind of had to end it at some point to actually finish the video and get it up on time. But yeah, this video we're going to get 95 Slayer probably. And a Basilisk Jaw, hopefully. No! Why? One of the main reasons I'm actually doing these Drake's tasks is I still need the Drake's Tooth, and that is my third Drake's Claw. So that sucks. Um, not what I wanted game, but cool, I guess. That's two Mount Karul Muniques on this task, and neither of them knew. Very cool, very nice. Thank you, game. All right, Konar task done, 100 points there, and going to Vanica. Man, look how large this lad is. Great loot. In the last video, I was very focused on actually doing my task, and therefore, I didn't really have time to do anything else, so I think this video, I'm going to try and let myself do some of the other stuff I've been putting off, such as farm runs, and some daily corrupted gauntlet, and Zalra kills, and all that good stuff, just to sort of keep it fresh, help prevent the burnout. I did a lot of Slayer last episode, and I'm very excited to be finished with this, but then after I finish this, it's just going to be grinding Basilisk Knights, which is not much better. So yeah, hopefully I can mix it up a little bit and keep it fresh for both myself and for you guys. Yo, 98 attack, let's go. That actually is pretty cool. One more level and I'm done with that forever. All I'll have left is a defense and prayer. But yeah, 98 attack, 122 combat, very nice. Well, I almost don't believe this is actually happening, but 95 Slayer, I've done it. I'm, I've been doing so much Slayer, I'm just, I'm ready to move on, but there it is. We can officially get Hydra tasks, and I think I said I have one more Mount Karul unique task on the hard tier. So maybe when we roll that, we'll go and try and do some more Slayer to get a Hydra task, but for now... Uh, I'm going to go do, I think I'm going to do some Corrupted Gauntlet, and then probably just go to Basilisk. I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy to be moving on. All 
All right, well, there's 10 more chests with no armor seed. Very sad, but we are moving on back to the Basilisk Knights. Uh, I'm going to figure out a setup that I can do off task that doesn't drain my supplies, particularly my prayer potions, because that's the thing I'm running out of. I would much rather use a bunch of food uh, and just bank more often. So I'm going to figure out what I want to do here. So I have a couple options of what I want to do here, and I think we're going to start with this for now, which is essentially just the same setup I was using before, except for instead of bracelets of slaughter, obviously I'm not on task, so I'm not using those, and no slayer helmet, using a helm nade is not, and I'm just not going to bring any prayer potions, and I'm going to prayer flick as much as possible, and then whenever I run out of prayer and food, I'll just take my house portal, uh, refill at the pool, take the boots back, go to the island, it shouldn't be too bad, and yeah. The other option was just doing this with range, which I realized I would just be doing the same thing, prayer flicking and killing them with range instead, uh, but I think melee is going to be faster in terms of DPS, so I'm going to start with this and see how it goes. And before we go back to the video, I just wanted to mention really quick that with the announcement of a date for Leagues 4, I've been thinking a lot more about it. And I do plan on playing leagues and making videos on leagues, uh, but I haven't yet decided exactly what I want to do. So I have made a poll in my Discord, uh, which I'll put on screen here for you to read, asking you guys if you had any opinions about what I should be doing. Uh, the options being just sort of playing normally and recording my progress in my journey in leagues, or perhaps doing some sort of leagues version of a task account or some other restrictions I haven't quite decided what I want to do, so if you want to vote in that poll, the link to my Discord is in the description. Just go and add your reaction, and then you guys can sort of influence what kind of content I make. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Back to the video. Alright, here we go, Basilisk Knights. Uh, I also decided I'm going to bring a Carol's leather top and leather skirt switch. Uh, I don't know why that was so hard to say. Uh, along with the imbued heart, just so that when my prayer does run out, which I'm sure it will because my prayer flicks aren't perfect and I need to move around and loot and whatnot, but yeah, once my prayer drops and I'm just on food, I'm going to switch to the more magic defensive gear, which still has some uh, slash defense, which is what Basilisk Knights use to attack, and then yeah, hopefully I can stay here a little bit longer, but just going to start and see how it goes. Oh yeah, and I'm starting at 591 Basilisk Knights killed on task, so we'll see how many more it takes off task to get this thing. Another nice thing about this method is at least I'm getting experience. If I were ranging it, then I wouldn't really be getting anything out of it. Obviously, 99 range, 99 hit points, not getting any levels there. But at least this way, I can try and work towards 99 attack, and then... If I get that and still don't have the jaw, then I guess I can start on defense as well. But yeah, at least I'm getting something out of it. Okay, so it turns out my little experiment here with Carol's and the Imbued Heart is bad. Uh, I think there's just no way to really melee these guys without Protect from Magic. So, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of prayer flicking. Yay. But there was a first trip of 34 kills, and I definitely could have done more if I wasn't messing around a little bit. So, yeah, not too bad. I hate this game. I guess it's not nearly as bad now that I'm off task. The jaw is 1 in 5,000, not 1 in 1,000. So the head isn't the same rate. But yeah, there's my second Basilisk head. Great. So I've been gaming. I'm at 770 KC, but I need to take a break. It is my editing day, so I'm just going to find some stuff to do while I bank stand and edit. For now, I think I'm just going to cut some gems uh, for no particular reason other than it gives me 30 seconds of AFKing that I get to go and edit, and I only have to click a couple times to restart it. So I'm going to be doing that and doing some editing. All right, well, I'm going to have to take a break from editing. I've been at this for way too long. There's so much content to go through for the last episode, and I just want to play the game. So I think I'm going to send some Corrupted Gauntlet, because I'm right here anyway, and then we'll go back to the Basilisk Knights. I'm probably going to do like five chests, maybe ten. All right, there's five chests with no armor seed. Sad. Uh, Basilisk Knights, let's go. One of the nice things about this is the gear setup plus inventory and everything is very easy. 
Uh, it's very quick for me to bounce back and forth between stuff, so I don't feel bad about having to, like, regear anything. Uh, from the time I recorded the last clip to now, it was, like, 30 seconds, and I got all geared up and ready to go. So, that's nice. Uh, now, I just need to get the thing. So, I've developed somewhat of a new strategy for killing these. Uh, because it is fairly rainy where I live right now, my internet, as you can see in the top right, I'm on a world that I usually have about 50 ping, and for some reason my ping is in the 70s, 80s, and spiking up to the 100s, which is making prayer flicking really difficult and inconsistent. So instead, I swapped out for the Varix chest as well, and I'm just camping Prey Magic, and I'm doing this as lazy as possible. I'm literally just camping Prey Magic, and as soon as my prayer runs out, I just go back to my house, refill my prayer, get some more food, and come back. Uh, and that way I use even less supplies. So hopefully this works, at least while my ping is inconsistent as it is right now. Well, good morning gamers. Uh, I spent pretty much all of last night watching a movie and AFK killing Basilisk Knights, and I managed to get to 1084 KC, not too bad. And for everyone that always asks, uh, I watched The Matrix 4 and it was terrible, do not recommend. But either way, uh, it is the morning, and we're back at it. And if you're one of those people who wants to leave a comment but never knows what to say, uh, give me a movie suggestion. On grinds like these, I like to watch movies, and sometimes I don't know what to watch. So tell me some of your favorite movies, and then maybe I'll go and watch them. This is one of those tasks where, and this is the reason in the last video I decided to try and go the Slayer route, but it's just one of those tasks where I'm going to be here for a really long time, and I'm not going to have much to show you guys. I mean, it's literally just this for like potentially like 100 hours of killing Basilisk Knights. I think I did some rough math. Right now I'm getting around 60 kills per hour, which means if I want to get to 5,000 kills, it's going to take like 88 hours or something. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy me whacking Basilisk Knights on the head with a cudgel. I just realized how similar this task is to the Dragon Warhammer task, where I'm just killing these guys for a 1 in 5,000 drop, and there really isn't much progression just showing updates on, like, kill count and whatnot, which, by the way, I'm at 1,337 KC. Uh, but yeah, at least in this one, I'm not going through a ton of supplies. On the Dragon Warhammer, I was using range potions, prayer potions, I was using ammo, it was, it was bad. But this is nice and AFK, just going back to my house, so just gonna keep going. It's too bad you have to use this stupid V-Shield while you're here. Uh, this thing kind of sucks, but obviously it's necessary, otherwise the Basilisk Knights just drain all your stats. But being able to use a Dragon Defender would actually speed up these kills a lot. And even more so, uh, I was contemplating, obviously I can't do this, but I was theorizing being able to use full Guthans here, and then I'd barely ever have to bank. Also, I got 99 attack. So that's cool. But yeah, it would be kind of sick if I could bring, now that I have full Guthans, this would be a perfect place. I would, like, never have to bank. Well, I mean, I'd need potions and such, but yeah, that'd be cool. Anyway, 99 attack. Nice. Um, only defense left to go, I mean, other than prayer, but that's pretty sick. But yeah, update on the KC, 1,547 as of right now. Still going strong, getting lots of experience, as you can tell. The kills are pretty slow, but that's okay. But yeah, it's actually pretty crazy how AFK this task has ended up being. With this setup, my prayer lasts about 7 minutes. Uh, so every 7 minutes, I just go back, drink from my pool, drink a dose of super combat, and literally just stand here. They attack me, I just auto-retaliate. And yeah, it works out pretty well. The kills are just really slow. Getting about 60 kills per hour, like I said, is not great for a 1 in 5,000 drop. But at least it's not like mentally draining. I'm not really playing the game. I'm literally just standing here and letting them kill themselves on me. So at least that's convenient for me. I can do other things like edit videos and watch movies and such. So yeah, it's not too bad, but it's just slow. What a curved bone? No! I was about to record a clip talking about how the curd bone is just as rare as the basilisk jaw, but curd bones are actually 1 in 5,013, so it's actually more rare than a basilisk jaw, barely. Uh, but yeah, that's terrible and sad, and I hate it.
Also, yes, I was, like, mega AFK. I wasn't kidding when I said I'm really not paying attention to this at all, which is kind of funny. That was sitting on the ground for, like, 30 seconds before I even noticed it. Uh, currently, I am editing together some shorts. I figured that this might take a very long time, so I should at least put up something in between the last episode and this one. So, if you're watching this, and maybe you missed out on some of the previous episodes, but you don't have time to go back and watch them all, uh, go out, go and check out some of my shorts, maybe. Uh, I'm pretty much just turning some of the cooler moments from the series into shorts. So, yeah. I can't believe I got the 1 in 1k Basilisk head drop when I was on task, where the jaw was 1 in 1k, and now the 1 in 5k curved bone when I was off task when the jaw was 1 in 5k. I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset. Just a little bit, though. Okay, so I have a new plan. And by a new plan, I mean an old plan. Uh, I am going to go back to doing some point boosting, this time actually at Turiel. Uh, I think I read online somewhere, I don't know how credible this source is, but people essentially agreed that it's actually probably faster to just Turiel point boost until you have enough points to go and do skips at Duradel for the highest chance at a Basilisk task. Uh, which is similar to what I was doing before, but last time I was actually doing real tasks at Vanica, like bursting tasks and whatnot. This time, I'm just going to do my Turiel tasks, get a bunch of points, and then go and do a bunch of skips at Duradel, and hope for a Basilisk task. Uh, this is going to be what I'm going to do for a little bit while I actually want to play the game, and then what I just want to AFK, even if I don't have a task, I'll probably just still be at Basilisk. But at least this way, it's a little bit more engaging for me. I was just getting really bored of literally just watching my character AFK sitting there hitting Basilisk. So we're going to do this for a little bit. Still going to be doing my point streaks at Konar, and is great when you get a quick task like this. Six rune dragons are done in like 10 minutes. You'll love to see it. 100 free points, 580 task streak. Uh, I'm going to continue doing this until I get to my 600th task, and then I'm going to go and use all my skips at Duradel. Oh my goodness, I went AFK and I have two brimstone keys and a demon head. This is great. And just like that, another 100 slayer points. Very nice. All right, there it is. 600 task streak, 500 bonus points. Let's go do some skips. All right, Duradel, be nice to me. Well, there goes all my points, and I forgot to leave myself one more skip to cancel this to get a Turiel task, so I guess we're gonna go kill some worms real quick. Man, I didn't even notice this was a superior Drake. It looks exactly the same. What the heck? I don't really know how I want to do this going forward. Maybe I'll go till my 50th task streak and then go and do a bunch of skips, but there is a hundred more points. I'm going to time myself to see how long it takes me to do my seven Turiel tasks. Now, obviously, the Konar tasks at the end could vary a lot, uh, whether I get, like, five Adamant Dragons or, like, 240 Necreals. Uh, the time there could be very random, but I feel like the Turiel tasks are fairly consistent, and I'm curious to see how long it takes me to do the nine tasks. So I'm going to start a timer as soon as I get this assignment and then go and see how long it takes me. All right, from clicking assignment on Turiel to clicking assignment on Konar was 19 minutes and four seconds. So that's actually pretty quick. I mean, like I said before, the Konar task is really where the time investment is, but let's see what we're doing. Calphites in the Calphite layer. That's another quick one. You'll love to see it. And another 100 points. Are you kidding me? I got another Drake's Claw. Just give me the tooth game. That's my fourth Drake's Claw with no Drake's Tooth. I'm so upset. And the Tooth is actually really useful for me. And another 100 points. Yo, the Superior Crawling Hand looks sick! See, I know that's why you guys really watch my videos, is to see all of the Superior Slayer monsters you've never seen before. Well, I got a Cave Kraken task for my Konar streak, and even though I've already greenlogged Kraken, I think I'm gonna go and do it. Uh, just because it'll be easy, and if I get five more tentacles, then I can imbue or enhance or whatever it is my trident. So, might as well go do it. Alright, there we go. Cave Kraken task done. Moving on. No uniques there, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Uh, ten more tasks, and we can go do those skips.
I can't wait for when I get a new superior drop, like the Eternal Gem or Dust Battle Staff or something, from some random superior, like a Crawling Hand or a Banshee or something. Well, there's going to be a neat little level coming in here. 93 defense, and somewhat more importantly, 2100 total. That's crazy. There it is, 300 points, 714 total. Let's go do it. Surely the last seven hours of getting Slayer points won't be a waste, right? I am going to go and do tasks like this, four rune dragons. This is going to take me like eight minutes or something. Might as well go do it, save the points. Those and like anything short or like jad tasks, I'll go and skip just by going and entering the cave. But yeah, rune dragons dead. Well, there goes all my points. Uh, I'm going to go and do this black dragon task at the baby black dragons just because it'll be quick. And then we'll do it again. Another 50 tasks and we'll come back here with another... Actually, it'll be even more because it'll be my 100th task streak instead of 50. So, yeah, 50 more Slayer tasks. Let's do it. Another Drake's task with no unique, but there is 100 more points. And another 100 points. The 220 Dust Devils killed, 100 more points there. 238 Gargoyles, 100 more points. I've actually been getting really lucky with the Brimstone Keys on my Konar tasks. I think I have like 29 Brimstone Keys. That's actually way more than I expected. Nice. Uh, I'll open those near the end of the video. Oh, and isn't that just beautiful? 128 Smoke Devils for my 700 task streak. Thank you, Konar. I mentioned this in the last video when I was killing Smoke Devils, but I still don't have an Occult Necklace, so I'm going to take every chance I get to do a Smoke Devils task. Bracelets of Slaughter included. Hopefully I can get it here. Yo! Second kill, let's go! I got that on kill 350. It's a 1 in 350. I literally got that exactly on drop rate. Let's go! Honestly, now I'm sort of like, do I even want to keep killing them here, or do I just want to go and kill the little ones? The little ones are really easy to burst and really good XP per hour, but I do kind of want the jar of smoke, so I guess I keep going. But uh, pet, occult, and smoke battle staff on 350 KC, that's, that's insane. So I am going to keep killing the boss, but I'm not going to bring Bracelets of Slaughter anymore. I don't really care about extending the task. Uh, that way I can bring the Tormented Bracelet, putting my magic damage percent at 17, which is huge. And I'm still going to go and kill the boss. That way I can try and get the jar and maybe a Dragon Chain, although I think this is considered a Cal Fight Queen unique. But yeah, that's just, it's so, it's so sick. My mage setup's so good now. Oh my goodness, according to the DPS calculator, my max hit, while boosted with the imbued heart, is now a 45. That's crazy. Man, this occult is just so good. Seeing like a 40s with a trident feels amazing, and I actually just recently ran out or almost ran out of Zora scales, so now when I go back to get more, I can use the occult. It's just, it's so nice. Hey, an only clue. And there it is, 500 bonus points, 924 total. Let's go get a task, finally. Hopefully, maybe. Well, there goes 900 Slayer points. But I'm gonna go do a little bit of Zora, like I said, try and get some scales. These are the last of the scales I had in the bank. So, restock on those, and then we'll go back to Slayer. What the? What? Two uncut sapphires? Two uncut sapphires and only 118 Zora scales might be the worst Zora drop I've ever seen. That's crazy. Yo!
Yo, let's go. Surf Visage, aka another 20,000 scales. Man, my Zolra luck is incredible. Three Serps, two Magic Fangs, one Tanzanite Fang, got the Onyx, only 412 KC. I mean, this is, this is amazing. All right, well, there it is. I was going to keep going until my Trident ran out of charges, but because I got this drop, 420 KC, let's just end there. Uh, 27,000 Zolra Scales, very nice. And we can do this, fully recharge the Trident. We can do this, fully recharge the Serp Helm. We can do this, recharge the Blowpipe. 24,000 Scales left over. That should last us for a long time. And back to Turiel, I guess. Well, this is convenient. I had a bunch of clues in the bank that I wanted to do, and this one wanted me to go and talk to Turiel. So thank you for the casket, and I'll take an assignment. Thank you. Anyone else not even know this place existed, or that there were abyssal demons here? No, just me? Okay. Well, I can't say I ever want to come back here, but there it is. 200 abyssal demons in the abyss killed 100 points. And Hellhound Task done, another 100 points. Man, they really just want me to kill more Kraken, huh? Alright. At least now I don't care about extending the task so I can use my Tormented Bracelet. And I've got an Occult Necklace, so this should be a pretty quick task. I hope. Maybe. Well, that's gonna be it for the Kraken task. No uniques on that one, but another 100 points. Very nice. I am still just killing Basilisk Knights when I want to do some AFK time. Usually either in the evening or the morning. Uh, I'm up to almost 1900 KC at this point, uh, but still no luck. I haven't really been including any clips of it because it's been really boring. I mean, that's the whole point. I'm only doing it when I'm not really playing the game. So yeah, I just wanted to mention I am still doing this, but my main focus is on the Turial point boosting. And here's your Tears of Guthics reminder. Go and do your Tears of Guthics. And here is a Worms task done, no uniques, but three Brimstone Keys, which is nice, and 100 more points. I don't know why, I just find all those superiors from these low-level Slayer monsters to be so funny. They're like the big, bad, scary version, but yet I kill them in two hits. Alright, here it is with this Fire Giant's task, 750 task streak, 700 bonus points. 1,100 points total. Let's go and get a Basilisk task. Oh, let's go! 239 Basilisks. Let's do it. Not only that, but it didn't take me that many skips. I still have 800 points left. You'll love to see it. Maybe we can get another one after this if I don't get the draw. All right, here we go with the Basilisk Knights. Uh, gonna be using bracelets of slaughter, trying to extend this task as much as possible, get as many kills on task as I can, and just hoping for the best. Oh, 94 defense. Nice. Well, this is going to be it, the end of the Basilisk task. 334 Basilisk Knights killed with no jaw. Very sad. Uh, I'm going to go and do a task at Turiel, uh, just because we can't get the back-to-back. -back. And then we will go back to Duradel and use the rest of those points, hope for another task. But yeah, that's that sucks. That actually puts me at 925kc on task and like 1300-ish off task. So we've definitely hit the rate by now, which is sad. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. And hopefully we can get a task without needing to do more point boosting. We got 800 points. It's pretty likely. <gasps> we actually did it! Another Basilisk task! I only had two skips left. Let's go! All right, well, you already know the deal. We go again. No, not another one. Disaster. Are you kidding me? 
Another Basilisk head. Why? This was like six kills later. Uh, I, I can't believe that just happened. I'm upset. You know what? I'm going to bed. Well, hello. Good morning, gamers. Today's the day. I'm going to get a Basilisk jaw. No more Basilisk heads. No more curved bones. I'm just going to go and start. You know, sometimes you just have to say, I'm going to come back and do this when I'm less frustrated. So, yeah, here I am. Let's do it. All right, last kill. Here we go. Am I am I going to get the draw? No bracelet proc? Uh, no. Very sad. By the way, uh, I am streaming this. If you want to go look at uh, twitch.tv slash t underscore underscore spoon uh, and follow that. And that way, you know, when I go live. Cool. Yo, let's go. Drake's tooth. Finally. I, I don't even know what to say. I was just complaining on my stream about how I have so many claws and no teeth. Let's go. This is actually very cool for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, obviously, the Drake's Tooth is a collection log slot that now I can go and tick off of the spreadsheet. And I think that was my last Mount Karoom unique task on the hard tier, which that will satisfy. So that is excellent. Uh, number two, Drake's officially done. I have no more uniques from Drake's, so I might block the next Drake's task again. I'm almost done this one, so I might as well finish it. But Drake's done. Sick. Drake's Tooth. Uh, I can upgrade my holy sandals to devout boots, which just makes them like almost uh, over 50% better. So this is this is a absolute win. Oh, I wasn't recording, but there's a 95 defense. Very cool. It's a little bit sad considering that just signifies how much combat experience I've gained this task, but yeah, it's pretty cool. 95 defense, nice. All right, there we go. Drake's task done. A hundred bonus points. What a what a good task that was. Drake's tooth, ninety five defense. You'll love to see it. And speaking of the Drake's tooth, we're just gonna go ahead and make these right away. Uh, cannot be reversed. Yes, please. Oh, they're beautiful. I actually love the way these boots look. I think they look sick. Uh, but yeah, they're actually really good. Uh, it goes from a plus three to a plus five prayer bonus. So yeah, that's just that's sick. Yo, let's go! Hydra task! Alchemical Hydra, here I come! And yes, I am well aware that this is going to be very slow and not particularly productive towards the jaw, that is. But I I need to do something entertaining. I just, I don't know, this will be fun. Let's do it. Okay, so I haven't killed Hydra in a very long time, and the last time I killed a Hydra was on Leagues, so that doesn't even really count. So I'm kind of going into this with very little experience. Uh, I'm going to be ranging it with the Blowpipe and Rune Darts. I think that's the best method. Uh, it says melee can be used, but you kind of need a good melee weapon, and I don't have any of the recommended weapons on the wiki, especially not a Dragon Hunter Lance, obviously, because this is my first time at Hydra. Fang, Scythe, Rapier, I don't have any of those. So I'm just going to blowpipe it and hope for the best. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to go and try and remember how to kill this boss. Okay, so I'm going to go through my plan out loud and then I'm going to do it and probably fail. But here we go. Uh, I'm going to run to this tile. It's going to lure him onto this vent, which is going to weaken him. I'm going to hit him to 75%. I'm going to run over here, lure him onto this vent, hit him, weaken him to 50%. I'm going to go over here, lure him onto this vent, hit him, get him to 25%, and then I'm going to kill him. And I'm going to avoid all the attacks and pray correctly on all of his attacks in between. Okay, good idea. That actually was really easy. I forgot this boss is not that hard. I'm going to go over all the achievements I get after this, but for now, I need to focus.
Well, that was pretty successful. 11 kills on my first trip. Uh, I got a bunch of combat tasks. I haven't actually read any of them, so let me go to those. So, we got five combat achievements. Uh, kill the alchemical hydra without being hit by the acid, without being hit by the lightning, without being hit by the flame wall, without empowering it, and then without taking any damage. Which is kind of cool. I didn't know I did that. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Five master tasks, 25 points, just like that. We will take that. Ooh, BB. Ooh, a PB by one second. Yo, let's go, Hydra's Eye. What the heck? The three ring pieces being the Hydra's Eye, Fang, and Heart are all one in 181, and you get them one after another in order, sort of like the uh, Abyssal Bludgeon, uh, and you can't get dupes until you finish one. So yeah, 181 for that one, and I got it on 22 KC. Pretty nice! So I was looking at the rest of the Alchemical Hydra combat achievements, and there's the two KC achievements for 75 at 150 KC. Uh, then there's three tasks that you just need more DPS, uh, skipping the flame wall and two speedrunning tasks. And then the other two, uh, one is just for killing it 15 times without leaving, which I think both of my trips were 11 kills, so I'm pretty close to that. And the other one is to kill it with Darox without going above 10 HP, and there's no way I'm doing that right now. So, yeah, not really much for me to go after there. Ooh, 213. Alright, 15 kills in a trip. Very nice. Barely made that one. Running out of food there, but cool. Uh, I beat my PB, but it was the same number. So I must have beat it by literally one tick. Ooh, an elite clue. Alright, well, no new items yet, but there's 96 Slayer. Pog. What the heck? What? No way, dude. What? <laughs> Alright, well, there it is. Alchemical Hydra task done. Sick. I can't believe I got a Hydra Claw. <laughs> I, I still can't, I cannot believe I got a Hydra's Claw on 120 whatever KC. It's just, it's so unlikely. And here I am so dry on this Basilisk draw. I've been at it for so long and I get a Claw like 10 times below the drop rate. I can't even use it. Uh, if you don't know, you have to use the Hydra Claw on a Zami Hasta to make a Dragon Hunter Lance, which Dragon Hunter Lance is insanely good. I'm very happy. I literally can't use this item until I get a Hasta, which is gonna be the most likely item I get from the next Zami God Wars dungeon task, but that's just, that's so funny. How is my luck so good, but yet so bad? I still just can't believe how that Hydra task turned out. I mean, what more could you ask for? I got an Eye, I got a Claw, I got 96 Slayer. It didn't take me too long, I mean, Alchemical Hydra is a bit slow, but it was a nice change of pace from what I've been doing, and I got my Konar streak. So, yeah, just gonna keep going. Gonna go do 30 more tasks here. Hopefully, I don't get another Hydra task, because it's gonna be really hard to resist going to Alchemical Hydra again, but I don't think I can swing that. It's just a bit slow, but I'm so happy I did that. It, that was insane. What an absolutely insane task, by the way. Now, did I use literally every single cannonball I had in my bank? Yes. But five superiors, three brimstone keys, a bunch of crystal shards? That was sick. Not to mention, a hundred more slayer points there. Got 20 more tasks till my big bonus. Gonna go do those real quick. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? 25 million hit points experience. Who cares? 
15 fossil island wyverns, a perfect Konar task. That'll take me like 10 minutes. You'll love it to see it. I did also just briefly want to mention, uh, when I started that alchemical hydra task, I had a fully charged blowpipe in terms of the scales and about 8,000, just under 8,000 rune darts. And I ended with 4,600 rune darts and 43% on the blowpipe. So rip supplies, definitely worth it, but damn. Another easy 100 points for me there. All right, here it is. 800 task streak, 500 bonus points, 900 total. Let's go do it. Yo, let's go. 241 basilis, a long task, and I still have 500 points left. This is the dream. Before we do that task, I got to go and edit that update video that I made, and I was really hoping to be able to make some cannonballs while I did it, so I need iron ore, and I noticed that there's a good chance to get iron ore from the brimstone chest, so I'm going to open my keys now. I have 48 brimstone keys, which is pretty sick. Uh, I'm looking for, obviously, the mystic pieces that I don't have would be awesome for the collection log, and yeah, iron ore. No way! Another Dust Mystic piece? Heck yeah, dude. What the heck? I mean, it's not useful just for the collection log, but heck yes. What? What? There's no way! What? Okay, I'm not gonna stop now then. All right, well, that was insane. If you don't know, the Dust Mystic pieces are a one in a thousand drop from the chest. So a one in 200 to get any of the pieces. And I have three unique pieces in 175 chests. That's uh, so unlikely and amazing, especially because you can get dupes before you finish all of them. So that's just, that's insane. And I got iron ore and I got some steel bars. That was excellent. All right, here we go, starting with the Basilisk Knights. Well, just passed halfway through the task. Still no interesting drops yet, but going strong. Sad. And last Basilisk of the task, and no jaw. I ended up killing 320 Basilisk on that task with my Braces of Slaughter, putting me at 1,502 kill count on task and 1,360-something kill count off task. Uh, I still have 500 points to go, so I'm going to go and try and get another one. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing here because I need to go get a Turial task first because I can't get the back-to-back -back anyway. But I am going to use these points to try and get another task. Hopefully, I can get another one without needing to go and do, like, 50 more Turial tasks. I know I don't show much of it because, to be honest, the Basilisk killing part isn't that interesting, but that entire task took me just over six hours to kill 320 Basilisks. So, in case you were wondering how long it's taken me to do that kind of stuff, yeah, uh, about six hours for that task, uh, and I streamed the whole thing, and it was very sad. Yo, let's go! 229 Basilisks, only took me 400 points to get it, all right, you already know what it is. Back at it again with the Basilisk Knights. Uh, 229 to go with some bracelets. Hopefully they last me a while. Let's get this thing. Well, this is a little bit random, but um, I got 91 crafting. Uh, a long story, but essentially they released the announcement that they're changing the cost of stuff for Stardust. And I decided to just go and buy a bunch of bags of gems, and I was sitting here cutting them, trying to wait for something, and then I got 91 crafting! So that's cool. Oh hey, 96 defense! Pog! Alright, last Basilisk of the task, and no jaw. Very sad. Yo, let's go! Another Basilisk task! Uh, I'm actually streaming right now, and I decided to just go and try with the, like, 100 points that I got from the 10 task streak, and I got it immediately. Heck yeah, dude.
Did that guy just pick up my big bones? What the heck, dude? I, it just yoinked my bones. All right, well, there it is. 288 more Basilis killed with no jaw. Very sad, and I don't have, like, any points to go and get a new task, so. Looks like I'm going back to Turiel. This is, like, the best Konar task ever. Four adamant dragons in the Lithgren Vault. That's going to take me, like, five minutes. You'll love it. Easy points. For anyone curious, I am at 2,107 KC on task and 1,363 KC off task. So I am well over double the drop rate, and I'm very sad about it. If you're still watching at this point in the video, I just want to say thank you, and I hope you're enjoying it. I know this is like by far the longest episode so far, and if you like the long videos, let me know in the comments. But yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully I get this stupid jaw soon. Points. All right, there's another 50 tasks done, 300 bonus points there, 614 total. Let's go hope for another Basilisk task. Yo, let's go another Basilisk task. Finally, my luck is turning around on these. And I didn't even use that many points. 449 left after this feels amazing. I actually just came back from a weekend trip with my family. It was very nice. I want to thank everyone for the well wishes and... Honestly, I couldn't think about anything else the entire time I was just thinking about getting the stupid jaw, so let's just get right into it. I will fight you to the death, Bassless Sentinel. Okay, good. I was really hoping I didn't have to, but... <laughs> another day, another Basilisk task done with no jaw. Very sad, uh, but I do have 464 points, so I'm going to go do a Turial task and then go and use the rest of them, and hopefully we can get another task. I cannot believe it. I, I didn't skip any tasks. This is literally, I went, I did a Turial task, I came back, and I got another one. Let's freaking go. All right, well, you already know what it is. We're back at the Vassalus again. Uh, I'm sorry that there's been so many clips that have just been the same thing, but this has literally been my life for, like, a month now. So uh, I'm coming up on almost 200 hours for this one task. So if you're enjoying the video, maybe consider hitting the like button. Thank you. Oh, 97 defense. Neato. At first, I was a little bit disappointed seeing how much combat experience I was gaining without getting the jaw, but at this point, I'm two defense levels away from essentially being max combat other than prayer, which is pretty cool. All right, there it is, another Basilisk task, 287 killed with no jaw. Very sad. 2,675 KC so far, and I'm very sad about it, but I do have 479 Slayer points left, so let's go try and get one more task. Oh my goodness. Uh, I... <laughs> I couldn't have called it any better, dude. I was just talking about how I'm going to get a dark bow, even though I'm nowhere as near the dark bow rate, and I'm not going to get the jaw. I'm, I'm upset. All right, well, with that, nine tasks done, going to Konar for a streak. Even though I have some points left for skips, uh, I just need to go and get more. So, yeah. All right, there it is. Tauros task done. 100 more points. 300 total. Back to Duradel. All right, another Konar task done. 
The good news is I'm coming up on another big point streak here of 900, and even if we don't get it there, then we'll be coming up on 1,000 pretty soon after that, which is worth a huge amount of points. I believe a Konar task on a 1,000 point streak is worth a 1,000 Slayer points. So even if we don't get a task soon, at least we know we'll have a lot of points to spend in the future. But yeah, really, really hoping for another task. Our luck has been good so far on those, so hopefully that continues. Even if the jaw luck is terrible. All right, there it is. 900 task streak, 500 bonus points, 600 total. Let's go get a Basilisk task. Hey, there it is. 227 Basilisks. Only used like 200 and something points, 374 left, so feeling good. For anyone that was wondering, these Basilisk tasks end up taking me like six to seven hours when I finally get them. Uh, depending on how long the task is and how many bracelet procs I get. But yeah, we're about three quarters of the way through this task here, and literally nothing interesting has happened. So yeah, just uh, just thought I'd give you an update there. And speaking of a Basilisk task, there is another task completed. 302 Basilisks and no jaw, uh, but I do have 389 points, so I guess I will go and do a one Turial task and then go and try and get another one. And there goes the rest of those points, so it looks like we are going back to Turiel. Now, the good news is, I'm coming up on a thousand task streak, which means I'll get a thousand points from Konar with the Elite Diary done, uh, which should give me a pretty good chance at getting at least one Basilisk task there. But also, once I reach the thousand task mark, uh, I can actually go and do the skipping method, where you just go to Duradel, and if it's not the task you want, you go to Turiel and you tell him to skip the task, uh, which does reset your task streak. But once you hit a thousand tasks, it kind of resets itself anyway. Uh, that's the highest point bonus. So I might end up doing that in the future. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but it's always an option. Well, absolutely massive level coming in here. 98 defense, 124 combat. That's cool and sad, but cool. One more level to go. Oh my goodness, look at this thick lad. Oh, I wasn't recording, but I got 97 Slayer. Woohoo! 3.39, nearly 3.4 million Slayer experience gained on this one task. That is very sad, but at least if I get to 99, then I have the chance for back-to-back -back tasks, right? Right? Hello gamers, good morning. Uh, today is the day. I'm just doing a worms task here. This is my 50th task streak, so right after this I'll head over to Duradel and do my skips. But today's the day they have finally released Forestry Part 2 along with another change to Shooting Stars. Uh, but more importantly, with the Forestry update, they added a few more items to the collection log under mini games, I believe. Maybe not. I got a drop. Uh, under other forestry. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there is a bunch of new items. This felling axe handle, pheasant hat, petal garland, all these things. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about it right now. Obviously, my main objective is just to complete this task. But going forward, I will have to add those to the spreadsheet somewhere. Uh, some of them seem pretty easy and pretty cheap to get. In fact, I think I can already buy them, so they will probably go on the lower tiers. But once I figure that all out, they will be added to the spreadsheet. For now, we continue with the Jawathon. Worms task done, 50 task streak, 300 points, 684 total, here we go. Yo, there it is, 224 Basilisks. Uh, that was actually really fast, I have almost 600 points left, I think I skipped like 5 tasks, so heck yeah! All right, there it is, almost six hours later, 287 Basilisk killed and no jaw. Very sad. But thankfully, I still have 609 points, so hopefully I can get another one. And there we go, another Basilisk task. Still have 369 points left, nice. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I don't know what to say anymore. Let's just go do it.
Well, I'm sure you guys already know what's up here. Another day, another six hours of killing Basilisk with no jaw. Uh, you know, I don't know what to say anymore. 384 points left. Gonna go do a tutorial task and try and get another one. Well, there goes the rest of my points with no task, which is unfortunate. But luckily, like I said before, I'm close to that thousand task mark. So I'm gonna go do 50 more Slayer tasks, get the bonus points, hopefully get a task there. And then, if even then, I still don't have Basilisk task, I can do what I mentioned before with Turiel. So, it's not too bad, but it is very sad. Pretty sure I said this before, but four Adamant Dragons for my Konar task is, like, literally the ideal task. Thank you very much, Konar. Points. 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 And uh, points. Big points. In fact, 1,000 points. For 1,000 task streak, 1424 total, let's go get this task. Alright, well, I got a task. I used a lot of points, I started at 1424, I'm at 634, so I used like 800 points, but here we are, a task, 600 points left after it, feeling good, let's do it. No, another Basilisk head. Oh. No, not another one. Oh, disaster. Well, I may not have a basilisk job, but do you know what I do have? 99 defense. I am officially max combat other than prayer, which is kind of cool, but very sad considering how long I've been on this task. But either way, uh, cool. And of course, I gotta buy the skill cape. Uh, I don't think there's ever a reason for me to use this anywhere, but it's going straight into the house because I want it. And this is going to do it for another Basilisk task. One superior, two Basilisk heads, 99 defense, and still no jaw. But I do have 649 more points, so I'm going to go do a Turial task and then do the rest of my skips. Hopefully we can get at least one more task in these. Well, there goes the rest of my points. Very unfortunate. But I can go and do the thing that I mentioned before, go to Turiel, reset my task streak in between each Duradel task that isn't a Basilisk task, and hopefully that should maybe speed up my task getting, but who knows really. Uh, but yeah, gonna go and do that. Very sad. Uh, little update for you, 3,874 kills on task, 1,369 off task. So yeah, well over four times the drop rate at this point. For anyone that didn't know, you can actually talk to Turiel when you already have an assignment and ask him to give you a new assignment. But as you can see here, it'll reset my task streak of 1002 back to zero, uh, which is totally fine because uh, that's exactly what I want. So rip task streak, but essentially that means that all I have to do is get a task from Duradel. If it's not a Basilisk task, come to Turiel, get him to reset my task streak again, do one Turiel task, because you have to do the task that he gives you, and then go and get another Duradel task. So it essentially makes doing every single Turiel task worth like 30 Slayer points, because I'm using it for a skip. So it's kind of cool. Um, and I only did it because, like I mentioned before, uh, the task streak, uh, once you get to a thousand task streak, that's the highest bonus points, and it essentially sort of resets your task streak back to zero anyway, uh, because you're going back to, like, 1001, so, yeah, there really isn't a downside for me at this point, and now I can hopefully skip tasks faster, uh, hopefully this will help me going forward. So, now this is how I'm gonna do it, swap to Lunars at my house, NPC contact Duradel and ask for a task, and then when it inevitably isn't a Basilisk task... It would have been really cool if it was there. Uh, NPC contact again over to Turiel, and just have him reset my streak, and repeat until I get a task. Wow, that was easy. Uh, since I reset my task streak, it has been an hour and three minutes, and I already have another Basilisk task. I've been just cruising, this has been great. Uh, yeah, Basilisk Test, let's go!
I will say, it feels just incredible to be max combats. Like, I don't really have to worry about choosing a combat style because I want the experience. Now I can just use whatever's best. And not to mention, I can go back to strength training on all my weapons. Uh, which, if you don't know, uh, your weapon style that you or your attack style that you choose actually matters. Uh, if you choose the attack training, you're more accurate. If you choose defense training, then you have higher defense. And if you choose strength, then you have a higher max hit or higher strength bonus at least. So yeah, it just feels good, you know. Now I'm just chilling. Now I just need to, you know, get the jaw. Well, there you go. Another Basilisk task done with no jaw. 318 Basilisk that time. Uh, but looks like we're just going back to what we were doing before. Hopefully we can get lucky again. So, fun fact for you here. Uh, you can actually skip Calphite tasks with the Turial method. As you can see here, when I click on him, he doesn't give me the option. And I think that's because he recognizes it as an enemy that he himself can assign. So because it's an easy enemy, quote unquote, then there's no reason to offer the option to skip it, uh, which makes them really annoying because then I have to kill like 130, 150 of them instead of the 15 to 50 that he usually assigns. So I think what I'm going to do is actually go and do 10 tasks in a row and get 100 points saved up. And then next time I get a Calphite task, actually use my last block slot on them. Uh, that way I'll never get them again. And they have a high waiting from Duradel, so hopefully it'll be more likely to get Basilis from him. So, yeah, I'm going to go and do 10 tasks. And there's my 100 points. Only took me like an hour, so definitely worth it. And sure enough, got that Calphite task, so I'm just going to block it. Finishing off my block list feels good. And get a Basilis task. Okay, well, it would have been cool. Hey, and there we go, 246 Basilisk ready for me to slay. Uh, it took a little longer than last time, but still pretty fast, and 246 is a high number, so we're happy with that. Let's go do it. Hopefully, we can finish this. Well, I think you guys already know what I'm about to say, but there is another Basilisk task. 312 Basilisk killed, and no jaw. So we go back to Turiel. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? A Basilisk task already. Uh, I think I did like 10 Turiel tasks in between here. It took me like, I don't know, half hour? This is great. Well, that sucked. <laughs> 326 Basilisk took me like six and a half hours and no jaw. Uh, I'll do the math, see what my KC's up to, but yeah, back to Turiel. I did the math and that puts me at 4,920 Basilisk kills on task and still the 1364 off task, which is worth about 273-ish kills on task. So, yeah, we are over five times the drop rate now. Yay. I don't believe it. This was literally like 10 minutes later and I got another Basilisk task. Let's go. No way. I'm pretty sure that's like really rare. Oh, no. Yeah, so that's a 1 in 26,624 while not wearing a ring of wealth. So I'm going to cry now. Obviously, every task that I don't get the jaw feels like a disappointment, but this one felt especially bad. Either way, uh, yeah, back tutorial, try and go get another one. 305 Basilisk on that one. Oh my goodness, finally. This one took a while. This was like five and a half hours of doing this tutorial method. I just, I can't believe it. Thank goodness, let's go do it.
Oh my god. I, I, I'm done. I, I got it. Wait, what? 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 The? What? I honestly just don't know what to say at this point. I've been on this task for over 33 days. I rolled the task on September 28th, and it is now October 31st. And according to my Slayer XP, uh, I've been on this task for almost 300 hours of gameplay, and it's finally here. The Basilisk Jaw is in my inventory. I can combine the thing. I, I can't combine the thing. I have to talk to somebody. But still, it's here. We're done. So apparently, I have to talk to this guy. Does he just, does he just do it for me? Do I, now do I do it? Oh, I just had to talk to him. Okay, well, there it is. Nate is not face guard. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, the face guard itself is really good. Uh, as you can see, the Serp Helm was my previous best in slot melee helmet. And the face guard is plus three prayer and plus one melee strength over top of it. So it is really good. Uh, unfortunately, it's worse defense and doesn't venom. So, you know, there is trade-offs, but I'm still happy to have it. It's still really good for a long time. Uh, was it worth the trouble? No, but hey, we have it and we can move on. I've got a lot to say. I'm going to go do some math and come at you with some statistics. But first, let's go roll a new task. I'm so excited to move on and do anything else. So let's go see what it is. All right, back on the spreadsheet for the first time in what feels like forever. We can complete the task and let's see what we're going to go do. Five new uniques from Easy Clues. Okay. All right, first thing on my to-do list, I need to un-unlock Basilisk. I never want to see a Basilisk task again. And then I'm skipping the rest of this Basilisk task because there's no way I'm killing any more of these. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, okay. Lizards, cool. I hope you guys are ready for some statistics. I have been doing some math and I've got some numbers to share with you here. I killed a total of 6,659 Basilisk Knights. 5,295 of those were on task, 1,364 were off task, which is about equal to 273 kills on task based on the adjusted drop rate. That along with 25 superior Basilisk Knights put me at over 5.5 times the drop rate. I had one 1 in 26,000 shield left half, one 1 in 5,000 curved bone, six 1 in 1,000 basilisk heads, and 35 1 in 256 mystic hats. I gained 4,371,000 slayer experience at around a rate of 15k per hour, which means I spent approximately 291.4 hours of gameplay on this task uh, over 33 real life days. That meant I was averaging 8.8 .8 hours a day. And in that time, I gained 3.6 million attack experience, 7 million defense experience, 2.2 million strength experience, 3.4 million ranged experience, 1.4 million magic experience, and 6 million hit points experience, going from 95 to 99 attack and 91 to 99 defense. I was going to include some more statistics on some other things, uh, but it turned out to be a lot harder to calculate. For example, the number of Slayer tasks. Uh, I started at around 450 Slayer task streaks, and I was going to see how many I ended up doing, but once I reached 1,000 and started doing the skipping method where it resets your streaks, I kind of lost track. Uh, but it was definitely over 600 Slayer tasks. And the other thing I was interested in is the GP. Uh, turns out that Basilisk Knights drop a lot of rune items, a lot of alks, and so do a lot of the other Slayer tasks that I was doing. Uh, but I was spending 800,000 coins a day on battle staves, at least every time I remembered to go and buy them. So my cash stack was going down about as fast as it was going up. But I do now have 6,650 battle staves in the bank. So there's lots of money to be taken there eventually, uh, whenever I need to do some crafting training. But yeah, that's all the stats I got for you. And before I wrap up the video, I just wanted to give a big thank you to you guys watching right now. 
If you made it this far in the video, or maybe you've been tuning into the streams, or just showing your support on Discord, or through the comments, or messaging me in-game, I really do appreciate it. Knowing you guys are understanding of how bad some grinds in this game can be, uh, it really means a lot to me. I love to put out videos, and hopefully the regular uploads will come again soon. Uh, it might take me a little while to catch back up on the editing and the recording. But yeah, just knowing you guys are there, waiting, watching, really does make me feel better. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the like button. Uh, this has been more than just a video for me. This has been a month of my life. Literally every day, just playing and grinding and killing Basilis Knights. I'm going to have nightmares for years. But yeah, thank you. I really do appreciate it. But I think that's going to be all for me. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, check if your notifications are on, I don't know. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I don't even know what I'm going to do once I get it. I know for a lot of people watching, this task is just like any other task, you know, just watching the video. But this has been a significant portion of my life. I've been on this task for over a month. I, I, it's become a part of me. I've been making videos for the series for just about 16 months now, and I've done hundreds of tasks in that time. And this one task has been over 10% of my total hours of gameplay on the account. I don't even know how to describe how much effort I've put into getting this one item. All I can say is, I hope it lives up to the expectations.